please. Welcome to Lord Library. So it has been a while. I know I posted a video last week, but it has been a while since I actually filmed. That video was filmed probably a month ago since y'all saw it. And it's just been a really crazy few weeks in my life. And I have no other excuse other than that with finishing up school soon and then just life in general. It's just been hard. But I have a very fun video for y'all today. I have a mini little book haul of books that I bought. I'm gonna call it my birthday book haul because my birthday was on April 8th. So about three weeks ago and I bought some books because I had um, I had a gift card and I had some books that I wanted to buy and I just bought them. I also have an unboxing of the Owl Crate for April. I enjoyed the theme of it this past month so I ordered myself a box. And real quick I wanted to mention because I had a video that I wanted to post before the Netflix book tag video but I decided to scrap it and in that video I mentioned my new haircut. As some of you have, may have noticed in my Netflix book tag. Uh, my hair was gone <laughs> pretty much. Cut it about a month and a half ago and I'm really 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 enjoying it. I have straightened it for every video that I have filmed so far because I'm still learning how to deal with it with its natural curls and it's very crazy because like this part in the front will stay straight and then everything else will curl and it's oh it's ridiculous. But let's get to the video. If you like my videos click the subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment down below of anything. Anything that you want. Tell me whatever you would like in the comments down below and and let's get to it. So I'm gonna start off with the book haul. The first book, I mentioned it in my Netflix book tag, but I don't think I ever hauled it. So I'm still gonna show it to you guys again. Oh Lord, I haven't picked this book up in weeks. This is heavy. And that is Piper Parish by Kayla Kagan. This is a book about an artist. I talked about it a little bit more in my Netflix book tag, but it's just this really, really pretty book. And it's about this, um, I think a starving artist or something like that. And if you ordered this book, you could submit your receipt to like a website that the author had set up and you could get a little you know a little fun goodie bag in the mail and I did that and it came with this little bookmark it says Piper Parish on it and it has a quote from the book on the back I just really really love the colors used for this book they're so pretty also included in the little gift bag was this pencil and it says love harder create harder Piper Parish it's one of those pencils that if you warm it up it turns colors I don't know how you can kind of see that so it goes from purple to pink and then there was also this tote bag in it that says love harder create harder as well and this is a really really nice tote bag like I'm really excited to use that one and then it also comes with last but not least a vial of glitter I'm sure this has something to do with it in the story I haven't read the story yet but it has a vial of glitter which is extremely dangerous but I love that so much so the next two books are ones that I bought specifically with my gift card for my birthday and this past semester I had to read books for one of my classes and we had to read The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan and I really really enjoyed it and I never read any of the Percy Jackson books before and I wanted to continue on with the series so I went ahead and bought the box set for the Percy Jackson and Olympian so this is the first five books in the um, Percy Jackson series these I'm so looking forward to reading these one day and I just love that they make you know um, Olympus or New York whatever on the uh, spines I love this so much it looks so pretty on the bookshelf and the next book that I bought for my birthday was a book that that I have been wanting to buy for years but I just never really got around to it and the TV show for ne on Netflix came out for it and I was like you know what everyone's talking about it let me just watch the first episode let me see how it is and um, 13 episodes later I finished it all and it was so 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 oh so good and I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about already and that is 13 reasons why. I have been wanting to read this book forever, but as I've like learned more about it and just what happened in the book, I didn't, I don't know, for some reason I just kept putting it off, but I finally, I got immersed into the story. I still have not read the book of it yet. I've only watched the TV show, so if you have read the book, let me know in the comments down below how different they are or if they are different or if Selena Gomez did a really good job and kept them very similar. But this is the 10th anniversary edition, which I'm super excited about because it's got, you know, like exclusive content and all that stuff in it and 
like I keep mentioning, I like hardcover books. So when I saw it and it was hardcover, I had to buy it. And I cannot wait, cannot wait to read that soon. Oh my god, that story. <sighs> Clay is my little cinnamon bun and I love him so much. I, I could make a whole video about it. But if I would make a video about 13 Reasons Why, it wouldn't be the storyline or anything. It would just be about how it was beautifully done. You know what I mean? So if you would like to see a review from me of 13 Reasons Why, the TV show, or if you would like to see me do like a comparison of the book versus the TV show once I finish reading the book finally, I can do that for you guys. Just let me know in the comments down below. So the next book I picked up yesterday, and that is Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. I have the first book in this series, Rebel Bell, and I'm just slowly collecting them. And I saw this one for $4 at Books A Million yesterday. So of course I had to buy it because it was $4 for this hardback book. And I just love these covers so much. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. And the last book in this little mini book haul is Paper Princess by Erin Watt. Erin Watt, I believe you say it. This is about some royals. I'm not, I can't remember what it's about, but I remember Natasha from Natasha Polis here on YouTube talking about this book series and I was like, that is a series that I want to read. I have to read this. So I've been looking for it everywhere and I finally found the first book at Books A Million yesterday, so I picked it up. Yeah, it's paperback, but I will look past that for right now because I want to read it and I hope to read this one soon. I really don't remember what it's about, but I remember it's one that I really, 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 really wanted to read soon. And next up, we have the April Owl Crate Unboxing. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. All I remember was when they announced the theme that it sounded so interesting to me. Here it is. And the theme is Head Over Heels. Yes, that was the theme. So this card has a girl, oh my god, you know that picture going around of the girl in front and then the guy holding her hand and taking her picture? That's what this is. That's so cute. So they're in a coffee shop and a bookstore and this is really cute and I'm so excited to get into this. Let's just dive right on in. They have the little worms that I hate so much, but we're gonna look past the little worms and just dive right on in. So the first thing that we have on top is some tea. It is Anna and the French Kiss inspired. It is chocolate cherry bomb black tea. Hmm, interesting. I'm not a tea lover, but this packaging, oh my god. Look at this packaging. This is the cutest packaging I've ever seen for some tea. So this is from the tea spot, the company, the tea spot. I will be passing this along to a friend or my mom or my aunt, somebody who adores tea so much. Okay. Ooh, the next book. What is this? Oh, it's a headband. Book band headband by Dora. Dora Tarts. It's Pride and Prejudice themed. I have not read or even watched Pride and Prejudice yet. My aunt hates me for that. She really, really, really wants me to read it, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. I don't even own a book of it, but you know. So this is what the name of the company looks like. It's this word. So it's this headband and it's prints from the book. This is so cute. Oh my God, I will definitely be wearing this. So it's like words from the book. This is really cute. I like this a lot. The next thing that I see on here is a candle. Ooh, Levi and Kath. Oh. But it smells like, is that coffee? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the smell of coffee. I don't even like drinking coffee. Just coffee is just, it grosses me out. But this is a really cute candle. I'm sorry for that initial reaction. I just personally don't like the smell of coffee. So it's actually coffee, pumpkin, and chocolate. And I don't like coffee or pumpkin. Oh, oh it's so, oh, it's such a gross smell. But I'm sure many of you would like this smell. I'm just not one for chocolate and coffee and pumpkin mixed together. It is by Novelly. Novelly? Yours? Novelly? I think it's pronounced Novelly. Let's see. So that's as good as it's gonna get. I think it says Novelly. Yours? So it's inspired by Levi and Kath, which is from Fangirl. Rainbow Rowl. I adored that book so, so much. And I knew whenever it said Levi and Kath that it would be coffee inspired because that book is heavily deals with a coffee shop and all that because I think that's where Levi works. He works at a coffee shop if I'm remembering correctly. So the next thing that we have in here is the Owl Crate pen. It says Early Birds Coffee on it and that is from the card. So every month they have a pen in their box that represents something on their card and if you can see right here it's the little coffee shop logo. It's a really cute pen. I really like that. The next thing that we have in here is an Owl Crate exclusive. So this looks like a sampler to a book that is coming out called Umberland by Wendy Spinnell. It looks like it's maybe the second book in a series. This is what the books look like. This is what it looks like. That's cool. Oh yeah, so it's um so it's a little sneak preview of this book called Umberland. That's really cool. 
The next thing that I see in here is this little, like, poster kind of thing. It says, To the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. Court of Mist and Fairy by Sarah J. Moss. This is really, really, really pretty. I really like the way this looks. I will definitely be displaying this somewhere in my room. have not read Court of Mist and Fury yet, but I will be reading that soon because I have been looking forward to that for quite a while. So, I see the book already. I wish they would cover up the book so you couldn't see it, but this had fallen to the side of it. It is a piece of jewelry from Bookworm Boutique. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a keychain, not jewelry. So it is this keychain. I don't know how well you can see it. It has a quote on the back. It says, the way I feel about him is like a heartbeat, soft and persistent, underlying everything. So the keychain represents Simon versus the Homo Sapiens agenda. I have not read that book yet, but I have heard really good things about this. This is a really nice little keychain. Okay, and last but not least, I see the book and I have been hearing about this book. I'm not sure what it is about, but I have been hearing about this book for the past few days, and that is The Upside of Unrequited. Of Unrequited? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's just what it's called. So this is by the author of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, Becky Alberta. Alber Albertili? I've heard her name the past few days, but I don't remember how to pronounce it. So let's open it up and see what it's about. Okay, so comes with the book. You have a little emoji looking sticker. You have a signed book plate from Becky, and you also have have a letter from the author as well and then you have the book this book is like it feels really nice is that weird so weird that the book feels really nice let me read it and see what exactly this book is about okay so this is one of those books where I'm like how do I describe this so this book follows our main character Molly who has a twin sister named Cassie and Cassie has this girl who comes into her orbit as the description says and becomes her girlfriend then Cassie's new girlfriend brings along a cute hipster boy sidekick and Molly starts to really crush for this cute hipster boy and you know she's all flirtatious with him and all that stuff but there's one problem Molly's co-worker Reed he is an awkward Tolican super fan with a season pass to the Ren Fair and there's absolutely no way Molly can fall for him right so basically follows this girl named Molly who as in the description it says that she's a fat girl so you know it's got that stereotypical oh everyone thinks fat girls are ugly and nobody wants to talk talk to them or date them kind of thing and that's what she's dealing with in this book about how no boys want to like her and she's only 17 years old and she's freaking out about this but then there's these two boys so I'm actually really interested to reading this soon like this one sounds like it'll really be good I have been seeing pictures about this book everywhere let's see what it looks like naked is it pretty oh it's just plain white naked that made me really upset <laughs> But I'm really excited to read this book soon. It sounds really, 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 really good. And yeah, this is the upside of unrequited. Of un unrequited? Am I saying that right? Requited love. It's, you know, that. And last but not least in here is the sneak peek for the May box. And that is Comic Explosion. Oh, looks like next month there'll be a Pop Funko figure in there. That's cool. So that was a really, really, really good box. In my opinion, that was like... The the best subscription book box that I have ever ever received so let's go back through and see everything that we got again we got the book the author book plate we got the sticker and the note from the author we have the Simon versus the homo sapiens keychain we have the Accord of Mist and Fury little poster with a quote from the book we have the sampler of the Umberland book that is coming out we have the Pride and Prejudice headband let's see let's just yep that's good. Okay, we have the novelly yours, Levi and Calf Candle. I'm running out of hands. Um, we have the Owl Crate pin, and we have the tea. I did it. I'm holding it all. See the keychain? Oh my god, I look ridiculous. So this is everything that came in that box. That was freaking awesome. That was a really awesome book. I think my favorite thing out of the whole entire box, definitely the book. I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I really enjoyed this poster and the headband, because I will definitely be wearing this when my my hair is you know you know those like days when it's like in between your washing of your hair and your hair is dirty and you're like what do I do with this this is when you throw one of these in and I will definitely be wearing this for sure so I hope you guys enjoyed my video leave a comment down below and let me know if you will ever try owl crate if you do want to try owl crate I will leave a link in the description to the website for owl crate and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later bye everybody thank you for watching do you like my short hair?
Ding. Okay, this was a really good box. A really good box. I highly suggest Owl Crate. It's been my favorite book subscription box thus far that I have ever tried.